Lots of rain around. In fact, all kinds of records being broken for June after the glorious hot weather that we had before then. So how's it looking today, Louise Lear? Any good news for us? Well, you know what? We were talking about this yesterday, actually, Rachel. For the first weekend of July, not too bad. I know I've got cloud behind me, but I just want to illustrate that this will all break up and we'll see quite a decent day today. This was actually in uh, East Sussex just an hour ago, as you can see. And we have had a little bit of rain, not quite as much as I would have liked, really, for my garden. It's not really brought enough a heavy rain, but it will clear away from the southeast. This is what we've got at the moment. And we've got some sharp showers into the far northwest. Now, as we go through the day, the cloud across England and Wales will tend to thin and break up and it'll be quite a pleasant day out there. So if you've got some outside plans, I don't think you'd be too disappointed. Yes, up into the far north and west, there's more of a breeze and we will see some sharper showers, particularly on west facing coast. But generally speaking, by the middle of the afternoon, if you are going to be out and about with the kids, it looks as though those temperatures perhaps peaking into the low 20s, maybe 23 or 24 degrees. That's the mid 70s if we're lucky in the southeast corner. But generally speaking, It'll be a pleasant day. There'll be lots of sunshine and with a light breeze, it will be very nice indeed. For Northern Ireland, a little more cloud. The same too for Northern England. And then we get those showers. Now, we could see as much as 10 to 20 millimetres on west-facing slopes of Scotland, but generally into the far north, it stays breezy with a few more showers. Now, if, like me, you're struggling at the moment with hay fever, that is because the pollen count generally across England and Wales is pretty high at the moment. That's certainly worth bearing in mind if you're going to be outside. As we go through the evening, not much change in the storm. Really, we'll see this rain just sinking its way slowly southwards. It's a weak weather front that's got to push its way across England and Wales. A very weak affair. It's just going to produce a few isolated showers. This little fella here might bring some heavier rain as we move into Tuesday across Northern Ireland in particular. But for the start of Wimbledon, it's looking pretty good. That weak weather front might run the risk of an isolated chair, but I think we'll be really unlucky if it interrupts play for the opening day of the Wimbledon Championship. So here is Monday in a little more detail. That weak front continues to sink its way steadily southwards. A little more cloud around on Monday, but we should, if we get some brightness, see highs of 23 degrees, a little bit fresher into the far north. More from me throughout the morning. Back to you, too. Thank you very much, Louise. We will keep our fingers crossed for Wimbledon this week.